Good day. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we're going to look at Wireshark's new cool tool called Transum. And it's from the folks at Advance 7. Paul Offord and the boys put this together and I want to spend some time showing you what it's about. A little background information. As I said, it was developed by the Advanced 7 team back in the 90s. Now it's a Wireshark plugin. That's the important point. So nothing to download, right? It comes with Wireshark. You just have to enable it. I will show you that in just a moment. It's a great time saver when you calculate response time, and it works with a whole bunch of protocols as listed here, but I'm going to show you how you can easily find out if it works with the protocol that you're working on right now. So there's this community called Tribe Lab. If you go to here, you'll find all the specific information uh, regarding this specific tool called Transum. Here, let me show it to you. So this is called the Tribe Lab community. And they have other stuff like Synchro and Workbench and all that sort of thing. All you need to do is create an account. It's free, right? It's free. And you don't get spammed and all that nonsense. I know because I'm on it. So if you go to this link and create an account, you'll be able to access all the tools and documents and a whole bunch of cool stuff. I can't recommend this site enough. They do a really good job. So how do you enable it? Well, when you go to Wireshark, you go to your enabled protocols. It's under Analyze Enable or Control Shift E and go find and check off Transum. That's it. That's it. Just check it off. You're done. When you do that, you might want to spend a few seconds, go to your Preferences and Protocols and find Transum. And this is the default. I have not changed anything. The important thing to note here is the capture position. Make sure you know if the trace is from the client or the server. In this case, I'm working from the client trace file. So I'm leaving that alone, leaving that under client, and I'm good to go. Uh, you can pay attention. Just read this stuff through. It's pretty obvious. So just change that accordingly, depending on what you're trying to do. Here's a sample packet uh, between a client and a server. In the old days, I would mark these things with references and find out uh, times accordingly. And, and that gets to be quite a bit of work, with especially big trace files. So in this particular case, I'm going to show you that now that it's enabled, and because it supports HTTP, we have this extra header called Transum RTE Data. And it gives you a whole host of things to look at. I'm going to break this down in just a moment, all right? So first thing. In that box, it says request first segment 9, and the last segment is 9, because the get command will all fit in one packet. So if you had the get command, or the post, or the whatever, and it had a whole bunch of stuff, and it took more than one packet, then obviously that would be reflected over here. Now we go to response. It says the first segment is 13, packet 13, and here's the important part. I sent a get, and the server sent an acknowledgment. Then the server sent the data. So this is counting the first data packet, not the acknowledgment, right? Because that's really important to note. And that's what this is showing us right there. Then you go all the way down to 23. It's the last segment. And again, 23 is a data packet, not an acknowledgment. So these are talking about data packets for the most part. Now, for the people who notice, the gets over here, the first data packet's over there, and then this is all summarized or decoded at the last packet. If you don't like that, you can always go back to your protocol, uh, I'm sorry, your edit preferences protocols, go to HTTP and you can change where this is displayed, either at the first or the last. And again, this is default, so I'm just showing you what you would see on your version of Wireshark. Just make sure you have a current version. And lastly, the response time. I only picked two of these to show you an example on how the math is done. APDU, response time. If you don't know what these acronyms mean, again, the Tribe Lab website has presentations uh, showing you um, what all the terminology means so you don't have to really blow your brains out. APDU, it says 95 milliseconds. And there it is, 95, 95705, 95. 705, that's it. Again, last data packet. And the service time says 81 milliseconds, which we can see right here, 81 milliseconds for that first data packet as well. So I would encourage you to take a trace file, small trace file, play with it. Make sure the math is what you expect it to be, because you might want something different. Who knows? But that's pretty well it. If I move back over here to the second slide, I've also provided the URL to the SharkFest uh, Wireshark I'm sorry, the SharkFest presentation that Paul did regarding transom. And I'll put this URL in the article itself. So have a good day.